I know. I have a reputation for being gruff. <laughs> but Dr. Jones is one of our own. Oh, I know. I have, I have known Bobby forever and Lucas since he was born. And it must be doubly hard for you as well, being the new chief of staff. Your appointment was a foolish and costly mistake for both General Hospital and Dr. Jones. If I was still in charge, this never would have happened to Dr. Jones, because I would have made sure the maniac who tried to kill him would already be behind bars. What in the world are you talking about, Liesl? Sending someone to jail? I'm referring to Dr. Finn. Monica's disastrous new hire. You have been on a witch hunt against Dr. Finn since the day he arrived. Someone has to speak the truth, since you're so determined to ignore it. Your negligence does nothing to keep our patients and staff safe, and it does lasting damage to the hospital's reputation. Monica is an extremely effective COS. She has done more to motivate the staff and promote cooperation between the various departments in three weeks than you have in three years. All the while letting a killer run free. If there is a killer, and it's a big if, I highly doubt it's Dr. Finn. He has a sterling reputation. He's been published in all the major journals. It was a huge coup to get him on staff at General Hospital, and all the credit goes to Monica. Thank you, Dr. Mays. You're welcome. Give me back my phone. Whoa, whoa, oh. whoa, whoa, Liesl. You are way out of line here. And if I'm called as a witness, I'll recommend you be fired for insubordination. You have no proof of any of your suspicions. You're just trying to make Monica look bad. You disappoint me, Dr. Mays. Are you sucking up to the new chief of staff? Or is this some kind of inappropriate relationship going on between the two of you? What? We are colleagues, and that's it. The one with the inappropriate behavior is you, Liesl, with your wild speculation and accusations. Just wait until the next time the board convenes. I'll be there with proof of your glaring incompetence. Do you really think you can help, Lucas? I might. What is this, Dr. Finn? Dr. Finn thinks he can bring Lucas out of the coma. Well, Dr. Finn isn't treating your brother. I am. And I'll thank you not to interfere with my case. Here, take a look. Just take a look. There are many studies about non-traditional, non-Western medications that I believe will counteract the drisophol in Lucas' system and bring him out of this coma. Please, just look at this. You want to give my patient some non-FDA-approved experimental drug? Not on my watch. Yeah, I'm afraid that we cannot authorize anything that is not within normal parameters. Shouldn't saving the patient be more important than following some archaic rules? Ah! Oh, please. Do I have to spell it out to you? Dr. Finn is suggesting this so-called cure so we can finish the job he started. This time he'll make sure he kills Lucas. 